Hey guys, welcome back. 1776 or bust and on the table for again, another edition of holster month of February, 2019. I've got two offerings from black arch holsters. Now, many of you know, if you follow the channel that I'm a huge fan of this holster maker, I find their products to be extremely well built. I find them to be extremely comfortable for all day wear. And especially if you're carrying inside the waistband, you definitely want to find something that works for you. Now, does that mean that there is no other options out there? No, of course not. That's what the whole point of this holster month is, is to introduce anybody and really everybody to different types of holsters and different options. And the best part is it, it kind of makes you realize that there are a lot of great options out there. But again, personal preference is always going to outrule whatever I say or anybody else says on YouTube. Now, in regards to the two offerings, um, this one here is a little bit more known. This one is their new one. So we're going to start with this one first, and this is their RevCon. The RevCon is kind of an interesting holster for a couple of different reasons. First off, it is extremely thin. Uh, it's a very slim profile, and you can see just how close the, uh, the Kydex mates here. And again, you have two points of retention right here, and I'll kind of hold that up closer. And, uh, you know, it, it looks really nice. I mean, everything, all the little nice touches, uh, the way the, the aesthetically the holster looks, I think is really cool. And I think a lot of people would be very happy just with the way the holster looks. Now, some people may say, well, who cares? But, you know, let's be honest. A lot of people like the way their things look, so they want to make sure whatever they have works for them. Uh, again, you can see that this one is actually built for suppressor height night sights based on the, um, the, the I guess you could say, the the height from the muzzle to the sight. So that's always a good option. Again, your, your single clip here can be caught into, or I should say adjusted into either a cant like that, um, or you can wear it flat if you carry appendix carry. Uh, also, you can see on the front, they've actually emblazoned the front with their logo, which is kind of sweet. I mean, it looks really nice. Nice little touch there. Again, um, just kind of some of the little things here, like the little uh, look of the trigger guard here. Um, the double clips that have kind of like that embedded look to it, which is really sweet. And then on the back, they've also put this. They've actually stamped the Kydex with the type of gun that it's being used for. So if you have multiple uh, copies of this holster, maybe some of the same color, you know, you, you all you have to do is look at the holster. It tells you which gun it is. Now, some people may say, oh, well, I don't really have that problem. Well, <laughs> you're lucky because I do. And sometimes you get them confused. You pull a holster and you're like, oh, that's the wrong gun. So that's kind of nice. Now, on the opposite side, you can see that there's also the same three-hole uh, pattern as on this side because the Revcon is reversible. So if you choose to, you can take this clip and you can put it on this side as well. Now, as you saw, this is for the CZP-01. In this case, it's for the Omega. So when we put that into the holster, there's your, your you know, basically your point of, of tension, and then it locks right in place. Again, it's not going to go anywhere. It actually just sits really well. Um, everything about the holster is actually pretty nice. The fit and finish is really good. All of the lines on it have been polished and are very smooth. There's absolutely no jagged edges on this whatsoever. And just from a distance, I mean, the holster looks like it, it just, again, is done perfectly. This is their gray, which I, I kind of liked. And so I asked them if they would send it to me to put on the holster month. And they said, yeah, that'd be great. So I always appreciate that. Black Arch always usually, I'll be honest, the guys hooks me up with some really cool stuff when I ask. So I have to give them a big shout out for that. But so far, so good. I mean, the holster's carried really well. Haven't had any issues with the gun moving or sliding. And the clip works. So overall, Revcon, very, very good option. Now, on the other side of things, here you have a version of this. So these are the kind of Black Arch holsters I normally use. And I actually purchased this, so this is not given to me. But um, this one right here is what I normally would use um, every day. So it's got the dual clips. It's kind of that hybrid type. Really fits nicely. I really, really enjoy these holsters. They fit really well, especially when you conceal them for a long time. However, I've also been looking into getting their single clip model. So basically, this is a smaller version of this. So the backing has the, bat, the, uh, the padded back. So it's very comfortable. It's got some breathability as well. It has the same Kydex shell, so all you have to do is transplant this and put it onto here and vice versa. And you can see that it all lines up correctly. So you have your point here and then your three here. This is going to be your retention point, and then these three lock the holster in. So again, a very nice fit and finish to it. Also, in regards to the Kydex shell, again, very sturdy, very, very clean. And even more importantly, again, very small footprint. Now, interestingly enough, this is not for a small gun. This is actually for a Walther PBQ. And as you can see... There's your, your retention point right there. Clicks right in. And that's the beauty of the Protus M. Uh, that's why I like this holster quite a bit. Because this little thing right here, this little, uh, I guess you can call it a dimple in the Kydex, actually allows for this gun to click into place. So if you're looking for a good, solid option from Black Arch, 
you not only have the Revcon, which is an excellent holster, but you also can do the single clip Protus M, which in my opinion is, is kind of a step above the Revcon, even though they're both really good, but it also depends on how much you want to spend. This is more expensive than this, but both are very good quality. So again, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, how do you feel about Black Arch holsters? What do you think about the two offerings here that I have for holster month? I love to hear what you guys have to say about your opinions on these holsters, but honestly, guys, still love them, still use them considerably a lot compared to some others. And I have to say these holsters work for me. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, freedom is never free.